In this video, we'll look at the basic controls for transfer function measurement engines. Let's start by taking a look at the transfer function measurement engines here in the control bar. Just like spectrum measurement engines, each one has a run stop control and a colored circle icon to show or hide the measurement. Clicking the run button will start the measurement engine and engage the input meters. Clicking on the measurement engine itself will expand the measurement delay controls. To run the delay finder, click the find button. The delay finder will determine the proper measurement delay using the peak and the live impulse response and display the results. Click insert to set the measurement delay to this value. In addition to delay finder, you can also set the measurement delay using delay tracker. Delay tracker will continuously monitor and update the measurement delay. The yellow circle shows that it's running and can also be clicked to start or stop the delay tracker. It's a good idea to keep delay tracker disabled unless you're actively using it. If you forget that it's on, it can complicate tasks such as system time alignment. You can also manually adjust the delay values by using the plus and minus buttons. or entering a value directly. Choose Delay from the Options menu to access parameters used by SMART's measurement delay functions. However, the default values should work well in most cases. When working with multiple transfer function measurement engines, it can be more convenient to engage and set delay for all measurement engines at once by clicking the Run All button, clicking the All Track button to engage Delay Tracker on all engines, then clicking No Track once the delay times have been set. 